everyone, this is Lord of Reviews, and this is going to be an awesome video, as usual. Uh, thank you very much for 400 subscribers. I, I never thought I'd make it this far, honestly, because I've owned other channels in the past, and they've all been complete and utter failures, and this one's actually doing rather well. Uh, thank you very much. Um, as you may know, if you've seen my channel layout, well, my new one, uh, that I'm kind of getting into pixel art and stuff. I mean, I've always been interested in RPGs, but I never really thought that um, my channel would end up being like that. Um, well, yeah, uh... This, uh, well, this video is going to be, uh, something that'll help you if you're interested in pixel art. Um, it's called Pixin, and it's a free application for Mac. And it's, uh, basically like a, kind of a less complicated version of Photoshop. It's free, and it's made specifically for pixel art. And, um, if you're interested in pixel art and classic RPGs and stuff like that, like me, uh, I'm sure you'd like this. Um, well, let's just go ahead and open it, and here's what it looks like. Uh, it has this little box, which is the preview box, and here's the toolbox. It's obviously less complicated than Photoshop, but just kind of obvious. Uh, here you can open an image or press new image. We're just going to do new image. And here's what comes up, and it's really cool, this like little box. It's kind of cool if you type it in. It like resizes this little box, depending on the size of your image. Usually when you do pixel art, you do 64 by 64. It's just kind of, it's just like almost always what you do. So I'll do that and just use this size. And then the little uh, preview box turns white, and you have the ch classic checkerboard style, just like Photoshop. And here's what you do. Since this program is made specifically for pixel art, um, it has like this red crosshair on the program. You can turn this on and off, but I recommend you leave it on. Um, the whole uh, point of this program is pushing pixels to the limit. So you can pick your color here with this color picker, it's basically just like Photoshop's. And then you just drag around like this and it draws in pixels. Unlike Photoshop, uh, it d this program hates anti-aliasing, as anti-aliasing is the enemy of pixel artists. Um, yeah. And this, it always draws in pixels because this program is made for pixel art. Um, so there's the, there's the line tool that lets you draw in pixels like this. There is the eraser tool that lets you erase whatever you draw. Uh, right, it's recommended that you just set the eraser tool. See, um, unlike Photoshop, uh, for easy art, you can uh, set the left tool and the right tool, so if you right click, you can erase, because the eraser tool is selected in the right toolbox. There is the selection tool, which is also available if you press Alt. If you hold down Alt, both buttons will select. There is the zoom tool, which, uh, which obviously zooms in. There's the zoom controls here as well. Um, there's the selection tool, where you can select something and move it around, like so. So let's say if I, and if you, you can press command D to deselect just like in Photoshop. So let's say I just drew, this is transparent. Let's say I made something black. Oops. Turn the opacity up. Let's say I made this and it's black and I don't really want it there. You can just select it just like in Photoshop, go to the move tool, and you can move it around like this. Ta-da! Alright, um... And you can select and delete it as well. Easy as pie. There's the magic wand tool that has been uh, especially um, worked out just for pixels. See, Photoshop, it's just made for uh, any kind of art. It, and this program is specifically edited and altered to work exactly with pixel art. And that's really useful. I really like that about this. There is the... Um, Kind of like the lasso tool, you draw it, and it's actually drawn in pixels for precise selections. I really like that. It's great for uh, animations and stuff like that, and it's like the lasso tool. This is the move tool. It lets you move your picture around, and if you have something selected, it moves that certain selection around. Here's the fill bucket tool. As always, just press Command-Z to undo. And unlike Photoshop, Command-Z will continue to undo and undo. It won't like undo and then go back to what you did. You have to press Command-Shift-Z to, to redo, 
which is especially helpful because you just keep your hand on the Command Z or Control. Well, yeah, Command Z, and you can keep redoing and erasing with the right click, and it's really useful. There's the Line tool, which does align in pixels on Link Photoshop, especially useful. Um, and then the Square tool and the Circle tool. It's pretty obvious what they do. And you can set any of these tools for left and right. And then here's the layer palette. You can toggle this by pressing this button. Uh, it's extremely similar to Photoshop, except it's a lot less complicated. You can drag your layers around like this in this little box. You can delete them like you can duplicate them and you can delete them. You can merge them. It's incredibly easy to do. Um, you can turn the grid on like this. Draw a grid, and that's a and that makes it a lot easier to do precise pixel art. And you can even set the width and height and color of the grid. Uh, you, you can turn the preview box on and off, and as you can see, if you draw on this, it shows up in the preview box. The palette lets you choose color swatches, just like in Photoshop, so you don't have that limitation on the color swatches. And then you can choose the background to be a slash, a flat, an image, or checkered. It's, it, t it has a ton of customation, customization. And the new thing that's in Pixen, it's still free, is animation. You can click here and click New Animation. And it brings it up in this box. Use this size. And as you can see, it creates an entire animation studio for you to literally create your own animation right here and now with keyframes and everything. It's incredibly simple. I haven't really experimented very much with the, with the animation, but let's just do something. Uh, mm, draw a smiley face. Um, Make a new one and then draw a smiley face again. Yeah, and then it does the animation right there. It's incredibly easy tools to use and it's incredibly fun and it's made for pixel art. Well, this has been a review on Pixin. Uh, I, I highly recommend it. The link to get it will be in the description. And uh, yeah, it's a great program. Go get it. All right, thanks. Have a great day.